Here we are on the bridge, uh, you've got Fem and Kiz, a lot of bikies behind us. They're having a really good time waving the Lycra around, but still, we're on the bridge overlooking a motorway, and it's the M6 North, North South anyway. Uh, that's all for me for now. I'll show you the motorway. So today I'm going to show you how I do this effect and I'm going to use a filter. It's an ND1000 filter. This particular one comes from this supplier. I bought it with my own money, earned by my own rights and my own self. They don't know anything about it and I can say what I like about it. Not that it matters, does it? Here it is, it's an ND1000 filter. Very, very dark, very, very black, can't see through it. But it cuts your f-stop down or your aperture down by a factor of 10. That squirts on the end, if you can get it on there, there we go, that goes on the end so when you take your photographs you're actually looking through a very dark filter so for a 30, uh, 1 30th of a second normal photograph speed at 100 ISO f22 gets me a reasonable picture of the motorway but with this on in order to get the same quality image I've got to have the shutter open for I think this one was 30 seconds that's a long time, 30 seconds, and in those 30 seconds, a lot of material, lorries and cars and people and bugs and things, they've all moved about. Once they've all moved about, they don't persist long enough for them to, to impact the result. The hardware, like the road and the fences and everything, that stays permanent, so that's there long enough to impact on the final image. So using an ND1000 filter, 30 second exposure, F22, ISO 100 on using a little old Nikon. I get myself a road with no motorway on it. Well, no traffic on it anyway. <laughs> 